congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, it seems okay, quite. Congratulations on getting here. I think it's probably the first. Thing it's been a it's been, been a little little journey for you, hasn't uh, it? As with yes. lots of films, you must be delighted that you're finally getting it's it out great. there now. It's great finally to get here. Yes. I mean, I don't want to say it was a frustrating experience. It wasn't. There was a good reason for you know letting the film float free for a while. I mean, people, you want to be a at a time when people feel comfortable and really want to go back into a cinema, I think hopefully we're at that point now. Yes, yeah, I yeah. Think, think we are. I think yeah. people are hungry for films again. Uh, yes. Tell me about the lure for you as a filmmaker for this this story. What what lured you in in the first instance, and what well, did you want to tell it? Uh, you know, stories like this obviously don't come around all the time, and uh, you know, this is an extraordinary one. It was definitely in the realm of sort of urban myth for me. I definitely knew about it. I hadn't seen. Um, you know, his first outing, which was the man who uh, who never was, which was a film of the account of the story written by Ewan Montague, who's the character Colin Firth plays in the story, uh, which was so heavily vetted it counted as uh, disinformation in its own right, that one. But, you know, that was kind of liberating to know that when I eventually got around to seeing it, which was not before I'd shot the film, in fact. Um, uh, you know, it, it, it's... I don't want to say the film has everything, but it does have a lot of different elements. And one of the things that's so surprising about it, it's a surprising story, God knows, and multiple tones, which I love in a film, and I sort of probably am attracted to them and specialize in them. But it, it's really, it's so, it's such a human piece, and you don't expect that with this story. You think it's going to be a dry piece about you know smoke filled rooms and strategizing and impossible conundrums and trying to guess what the enemy is going to be doing that is all happening but it's really a story of what happened to these people who set about creating this meticulous fiction which of course was uh, uh, needed to look true but wasn't remotely true and somehow disappearing into the fiction that they've created and finding themselves in a very uh, a sort of uh, a place of existential dread by the end as to whether or not what they had so carefully contrived span out of control uh, beyond the point where they could do anything about it <clears throat> and they were tortured I suppose tormented by the idea that possibly it was going to have the opposite effect yeah. than the one they wanted so it's a, a story that ends up in a very, very different place than where you think it's going to go when it starts, um, because there's something absurdist about it, you know, almost. Anything, any story that involves a dead body, you know, Monty Python's not far away. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!